Hey guys, we've got a great show for you tonight. We have an interview with Kevin Marion, one of the original tournament organiz organizers, and uh, he even created one of the promotional cards for the game. So stay tuned. We're going to be right there with you. Mark and Matt bringing back the mid to late 90s. Mark and Matt bringing back X4 CCG. Welcome back, everybody. We have another treat for you today. Yeah, we do. It's a pretty big treat. We, we're, we're, I, I'm getting cavities. I'm getting cavities. There's so many treats. <laughs> so we, sweet. We're, we're welcomed today by uh, Kevin Marion. Now, if, if you don't know who this guy is, you know who he is? You know, you had to inform me. I didn't realize that you were able to get somebody that was this involved with the game I'm, already that we're going to interview. I'm, I'm, like, I'm trying. I'm so if you're not aware, uh, Kevin was a, a tournament organizer. Uh, he even created a promotional card for the game. He's mailed thousands of cards uh, throughout the year. In fact, on that one Angel Fire website or whatever you can see. Is it Angel yeah, Fire? I yeah, when you do the Wayback Machine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you can see, if you start counting them, the thousands of cards that he, he gave away. So uh, we're very honored and excited uh, to be here uh, with uh, with Kevin. Kevin, welcome to the show. Hey, guys. How you guys doing? We're just kicking it, man. Things are uh, things are good. No snow on the ground, and uh, oh. the sun is shining, so things are good, man. Yeah, I don't so, care what uh, the groundhog says. I think it's spring now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, the groundhog <laughs> may be wrong, but uh, so so tell us uh, how you became involved with with the game. What's what's kind of your association with with the game? Um, I actually was not employed by USPC or NXT at all. Um, I was just a fan, just probably like you guys probably started out watching the TV show. Yeah. Uh, you know, what was that, 93? Um, and then just from there, I just started buying the cards when they came out in 96. Uh, moved from New York to Kentucky. So I had a little bit of delay there. So I kind of missed out on, like, the peak is what I call it for USPC. From 95 through 97, they just had, you know, they were one of the top companies at all the cons. They just had tons of people. But uh, I just started going to the cons. First one I did was Origins in 97. Uh, went there, and that's where I met Dave May, Dave Frank, Andy Gorman, all those guys, uh, Ron Kent. And uh, just from there, I kept bugging the heck out of them. Uh, we, we, we're, we're cursing on here. Is that right? Oh, yeah, go for it. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Good. yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my, my New Yorker at a, at a low right now. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you're, no, you're good. You're It'll good. The F word all day long. So, um, <laughs> so uh, just from starting out with Origins 97, and uh, at that time, everybody started jumping ship already. Uh, I just got to that first con, meeting everybody, seeing all the hype about it. And there was already this rumor that they were stopping the game. So I just kept bugging them and bugging them and bugging them. And Dave saw that I was sincere. And he just wound up helping me just continue loading me up with cards and some people and just started running tournaments. Nice. And so, I was going to... Oh, yeah. Go, yeah, go. So you actually kind of touched on the next question, though. We were curious, how long did the, the tournaments actually continue? And did it wane down? Or was it just because the game was like they stopped production? Um, yeah, once they stopped production, uh, everybody started jumping ship. So, like, one guy jumped, and, and I think Mike Mack even mentioned it. Uh, one of the designers wound up going and creating a game called Scooby-Doo. And if yeah. you ever play Scooby-Doo, guess what? It's the X-Files just with Scooby-Doo characters. Really? <laughs> I actually, I'll play that just to try it, honestly. <laughs> really? Yeah. I used to watch Scooby-Doo, yeah. It, wow. it's, it's the same mechanics, the same gameplay and everything, so uh, just it's a little bit more fun. Oh. Yeah. You don't, you don't see too many of them around, but uh, I, let's see. I had to write some of them down. Uh, I did a con called AndCon in 98, which I think was in Toledo. Then I did Gen Con from 98 through 2002. 2005 through 2008 and then the last one i did was 2016 because it was uh you know just like an anniversary year and then origins in columbus that was 98 through 2001 2005 and then again in 2007 through 2009 so you know by 98 there was a there was already 
uh, a loss of interest. Uh, there were so many games out at that time, Star Wars, Star Trek, uh, Middle Earth, I mean, Magic of course, being the big one. So it was already kind of waning down. But, you know, it's interesting around the mid 2000s, the uh, I guess with the TV show making a comeback and um, the international fans just like just peaked and appeared from nowhere. Uh, that's where I actually started talking to Dax. Uh, yeah. We actually did through email and then sent letters to each other um, and a couple other people from uh, someone I spoke to in Portugal, France, you know, Australia. So it just all of a sudden an international peak just happened. So that's why I started doing the cons again right in the middle of 2000. But again, all those people really couldn't make it. It was all, you oh, know, yeah. just U.S. and Canada people. So. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. I, we, I, yeah. I had known from the website, you know, you, you can go through, you know, the info, previous stuff, and you can yeah, see that, yeah. yeah, that you were still updating it, you know, throughout the years. Um, it had fallen off a little bit, but it was, you know, it was exciting because it was like, holy crap, this is still in the mid 2000s. Like, there's, yeah, there's still, still, still people going. doing this. It's pretty cool. Yeah. We it, it, was, we, we it was so strange, though, in like just the mid 2000s. Again, it was probably because the TV show started to do a little bit, uh, you know, remakes and, and some pickup, you know, they did some movies. So um, I, I don't know. The, I don't know if there's just shipments started making it overseas and then all of a sudden people were interested. I'm not sure how that worked out, but it was great because then I wound up having a, a contest, uh, having people design their own cards, uh, give, you know, and I just did a whole bunch of giveaways, you know, from stuff Dave and a bunch of other people had gave me. So that's that's actually funny that you mentioned giveaways. I actually kind of had yeah. a, a nice little surprise. So right. I noticed today that our, you know our numbers are not crazy for the number of subscribers that we have. It's a pretty obscure topic. No, it's it's uh, growing. It's, it, it's yeah. growing, but I did notice that we're at forty-one subscribers. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and do you know what the answer to all of life is? I do. Yeah. All of life. All of life. Forty-two. Hitchhiker's guide. guide, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, yeah. right. right. Like, <laughs> it's one of those way out there things everybody kind of knows, but you forget about. So, it. Yeah. so you, you're speaking right. of giveaways. I'd like to give a huge giveaway to my 42nd subscriber. So, whoever subscribes to this video next, 40, 42, that's the answer and everything to life. Yeah, um, I just got a huge package planned to give away. So, I like okay. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because why not, right? And this isn't live, so they won't know yet. So, yeah, they right. Won't know. <laughs> and, and, you know, I've, I've given away so many cards and stuff like that. I have a couple things that I could send you guys to that you can just go ahead and give the people. Um, just a couple years ago, one of the people, because I live in Kentucky, right outside of Cincinnati. The game was made in Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, that building, they demolished it and sold the land. And they have a smaller branch now in, in Kentucky, not far from here. So I actually wound up running into one of the employees. So they wound up giving me just some extra stuff. Just so I'd be love. I'd love to give you guys some of that stuff. You know, some of the promo stuff awesome. is hard to come by. So yeah. I know awesome. I I could pass along some of that. That's perfect. That's really great, man. Um, yeah, we'll get so, that on there. So, yeah. So so speaking, um, what can you tell us about the, the Gen Con decks? Um, I, specifically, there was one called Scully's Dream, and I've only seen a picture of it. Um, right. But okay. I know it's in that deck. This is that, what the deck looked like. Um, they made about 400 of these, as, as, much, as much as I could tell. Now, remember, I, I'm, I'm just a fan, too, but when I first started out, I just started being OCD and just trying to get every card I can get, so I oh, wound yeah. up meeting all these dealers. Um, but most of the guys confirmed they made like 400 of these. They took them to, uh, I'm going to say it was Gen Con of 96. Yep. Yep. And um, they just loaded up the table with them and they had the table set up where people could come over, check out the game. And this is what they were just pretty much playing with. Um, however, they were supposed to turn them in. They destroyed a bunch of them. Yeah. However, about 100 of them got out. Um, I think somebody may have taken a bunch. <laughs> so um, I, there's one dealer that happened to have an awful lot of them somehow. So uh, I'm sure there may have been uh, 
some shady stuff going on but so that's so uh, that's an actual gen con deck you have in your hand right there right yeah there? yeah so this oh. this is how they boxed it you know they were supposed to just take them right back to the office um they had them banded or something like that i didn't mine's not banded i had to buy mine i bought mine from one of them dealers um i don't think i got it from mike Mackey. i got it from someone else um and it just came with some rule books and stuff like that too so it was uh just you know some of the cards i'll bring them over you could see that the text is a little bit different it's not as clear the things yeah. are a little bit dirtier and stuff some of the symbols are a little bit different um something are significant they using, are they using like completely different wording and stuff or is it more like they're just kind of modifying it slightly yeah so they, they, you're right they just started modifying the graphics so mm -hmm. you can see that the little red hand, they kind of had, it's kind of a little bit more cartoonish looking. Yeah. Um, the pictures, like here's a VCR tape. So they wound up getting rid of that icon and using something else, using wow. some higher quality. You know, USPC, they made bicycle playing cards and everything. They've been around forever. So yeah. uh, they they made, they make some good stuff. But, uh, you know, some, some pictures changed on these. Uh Try to find a good one, because cool. a lot of them are, are, are standard cards. They're pretty much things that you saw in the premiere deck. Yeah. Hmm. A couple couple images changed. I think abductions one of them. Yeah. I don't think that's the the image that they actually used. Uh, there was another one I thought. Now does that does that deck have Scully's dream in it? The site. Yeah, yeah. So that 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 was. That was like, I guess, the 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 one time. Let, let, let me put my camera. That's probably a little bit easier. So yeah, it's yeah. Scully's dream, and um, it's it's a sight card. It says medical of four plus on it, and it's uh it's a method sight as well. But I, I'm not sure why this was dropped from it. That's that's something I never got an answer from. I guess they wanted to go with something that was more. Uh, I I don't know. You know, for some reason it got dropped. But I I, I looked at that actually, and I found that um, Northwest. I think it's Northwest Georgetown Medical Center. Right. Uh, if you if you look at the card, it's from the same episode. But if you look closely, it, if you remember from the episode, she starts to hallucinate, and she starts to see this lake where she grew up on. Yeah, and if right. you look at the card, you can see the floor of the hospital is looking like water. It's colored like water. Oh, wow. And, yeah, and I think that was the replacement card. Again, I think. I don't yeah. know for sure, but right. I think that was the replacement. You're, makes sense. you're, you're, pro you're probably right. And, you know, I then, like, I, oh, the other thing that's on them, they do say this on the back of them. Uh, the back of the card's just like the regulars, but it does say... Uh, for demonstration purposes only, right oh, here on the right bottom. On the oh wow! Wow! Huh. Did you did they come with a no one so paranoid? I can't remember if that was included. Um, or, you know, all they just no. I think that was the promo that they gave away for that um, at oh, that okay. same Gen Con of '96. The deck didn't come with it. It did come with. Um, it did come with Deep Throat. Oh, that, that's cool. That's probably, you know, the 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 better of them anyway. Yeah, as far as everybody using. likes playing that card. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody likes X. trying to find that card. <laughs> right. X. right. X is another good one. Oh, nice, great card. So, wow. it came with some good ones, but like I said, most of the things it's just graphics and stuff were just changed on them. That's really about it. That's cool, man. Well. Oh. Um, so speaking of rare, though, what other items were made that are near impossible to find that you've that you've come across or that you can't find anymore? Um, you know, it, it, when I talked about dealers before, uh, there was this one family, um, the Cobb family from California, and they were just so big into the TV show that they were just buying everything that you can think of. And um they even had a museum in their house, an X-Files museum. I guess you can go visit. What? Um, Where you know, it, it, this is what's crazy is that, you know, we all thought this internet shit would just last forever. <laughs> so when people had websites 
with all this information on, you just figured that stuff would last forever back in the 90s. No one thought anything other. And then, you know, so I printed a bunch of them, printed all the pages and stuff. So I got that. Maybe the next time we got we, we talk or something together one time uh, in the future, I'll go ahead and show you some of those or email you some of that stuff, too. Um, but uh, jo Joanne Cobb and stuff, she had all this stuff. And the company started out in California, NXT, and that was, uh, let's see, it was David May, Dave Frank, Andy Grauman, Ron Kent, and I think there was one other gentleman, and then they hooked up with the company Don Russ, that makes the baseball cards. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. I'm familiar, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, they, ha they had the deal, so Don Russ wound up getting the, the X-Files um, licensing. So they were all set to make a game. So they actually started making cards. Um, I have some of them. I'll have to dig them up out of my basement of the cards that they made. Um, but they actually made. Um, Joanne wound up hooking up with one of the employees who I guess got pissed off that he couldn't move to Ohio when USPC took over the game. So he just took a bunch of stuff from the building or from their office or whatever and sold it to Joanne. And then, you know, it's Joanne just kept it in her museum and, and eventually sold it off and stuff like that. So there's some really cool stuff. But again, you can't find these images anywhere. I made printouts of stuff I could show people. Uh, they, they made a molder where they used a coin icon and, instead of the, the little blue shield on the bottom. Um, they tried printing it out and it came out all crazy. So it, it actually looks like you're seeing the bottom corner of the card, like almost like a jigsaw, like a jigsaw puzzle, like the pieces are all messed up. Um, the Don Russ cards had a different backing. Um, man, I don't have anything like that up here. Uh, but it, but the, you know, the cards were still about the same, uh, just different backing, uh, different icons and images that they used. Uh, they made a really cool uh, tray um, if you ever look at any of the ad slicks, like even some of the ones that Mike Mackey and Voyager sold, uh, in those ads, they made this crazy thing where they took the two X-File boxes, but it was like a file cabinet, and you were able to slide the box of cards into the file cabinet. And then you pop open the file cabinet, open it, and then take your, your deck boxes out. It was really, really a weird promotional thing, but... <laughs> You know, Joanne had those and stuff, but uh, she was dealing with cancer and she died and her brother-in-law took everything, put it on eBay. Huge prices. I mean, you know, four figures, you know, over a thousand dollars for each item. No one was buying it. So someone overseas contacted them, just bought the whole lot. So I never got my hands on some of that stuff, that Don Russ stuff. I got some, but definitely not that. Um, some of the other things, play test cards. The game actually, when they wanted to test the game out, they went ahead and uh, found fans and said, hey, you want to test out our game? So this is what they looked like on the back. They were just like a, you know, a nice card stock, but just black and white. This was the back of it, and then this would be the front. So this one's uh, a witness card for Men in Black, something that never came out. Um, then like Agent Fox Molder, but I got two different versions, so you could see when they were play testing it. Uh, this being the original one, it just says 22 points up here, so I don't know what the 22 points huh. were. Wow, it's, um, it's got all his yeah. skills on here, but then all of a sudden I got this other one, and it shows just like what we normally see you know, seven resource points and everything like that. So sounds like they were working off some sort of point system in the beginning. Uh, but that's all they were. And it says it says on the back that, you know, you can't keep these, you have to return them, can't make photocopies, stuff <laughs> like that. So the fans pretty much did give them all back, believe it or not. So uh, I was wow. able to get uh, you know, a few of the few of the employees passed those on to me. Those those are those are kind of cool. Uh, some cards that never made it, but after you read them and look at them, they they would have been horrible to play. So I yeah. can see. Why. Yeah, I know. Uh, one one thing uh, one thing I noticed is on on your website, 
uh, when it talked about the tournaments that you put in. Sorry, this is sort of an impromptu question, but right. uh, on the types of tournaments you put on, there were, you know, obviously the no killer uh, tournaments, uh, mm -hmm. which I understand, which, which I, which I understand. Right. But then specifically there was uh, what was it? Government uh, like uh, login or, or something like that. Uh, basically you can take one card out of your collection. It doesn't have to be in your deck either, either. Uh, uh, happen, yeah. happen to government files. Yeah. And, oh, what a card. Yeah, and a lot of and a lot of the tournaments actually said no hack into government files. <laughs> right, right, yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's probably uh, that 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 card wound up being the, the the card that Dave May and all those guys just they were like, oh, I can't believe we did this. You know, they just <laughs> they just got the they, they just got the wording wrong, and uh, that's why that card never made it in the second version or, or you know reprinted later on too. Oh, yeah. So, oh yeah, because people people would take people would have two of those in their deck, and then they'd have two deep throats in their deck, and it would just be deep throat, deep throat, deep throat all day long. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you, yeah, it, it just had to go. <laughs> <laughs> So I, w I wouldn't let anybody play them. Now, if people did want to use the killer cards, as long as both people agreed to it, I was fine with that. So, yeah. yeah. Well, so um, we're interested. We want to know if you're if you'd be interested in making an online version of the game, or if you want to be involved in that at all. Oh yeah, heck yeah. Um, yeah. There was a there was a company called CCG Workshop back in the mid to 2010s, maybe around 2013, 2015. And they put a bunch of games online, um, making them playable. Uh, I remember seeing like Middle Earth, X Files. There was a whole bunch, um, oh, and oh. for some reason, it just didn't take. Um, I'm not not sh not sure why they had. Um, they seemed to have some pretty good backing and and publicity wise. I would see ads from them and stuff like that oh. online too. So not sure how it went, but people told me the gameplay was pretty decent. Um, nice. But uh, I'd like to see something. I would love to, even on YouTube, if people wanted to learn the game, just demo it or something like that. I mean, I I think it'd be great just to be able to to play it more because I only get to play it with my small group of friends. You know, I'm I'm not a gamer. I never was. I was just a fan of the X Files. Yeah. So that's say, actually kind of how it was with us too. I I played I, a little bit of Magic, um, but I think. I don't know if you remember the series. It was called uh, Weatherlight, uh, and and yeah. I I played that and I had a whole collection of them. And then the X Files came out, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna do this now because the X Files is freaking awesome. So <laughs> right. I sold my entire set of Weatherlight to some guy for like 200 bucks, yeah. and then used all the money and just started buying X Files cards. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> And I, I played with your cards for the majority of it until I had enough money and was able to buy my own. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, no, I, we, we think it's a great idea. And then, I mean, you know, one of the last questions we wanted to ask you is if we can make that happen, if we can um, find a way to either do it online or uh, maybe even something, you know, obviously down the line in person or something. But would you be interested in, in working with this for like a charity event? Like we can get all these people to combine and, and, yeah, and celebrities. And I mean... Uh, you know, I mean, Dean expressed interest in it, and uh, I mean, how cool would it be to actually sit down and play a game against one of the actual lone gunmen? Yeah. Right. Or, yeah. You know, so we again, we don't have all the answers. Um, you know, it's just something that we're kind of spitballing that we'd love to to make happen. So if if you're interested in something like that, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it, it, it'd be great to get some of the, the, the original guys involved, too, uh, you know, when it comes to the designers and the guys who knew the gameplay. Yeah. Um, I know you guys have been hunting some people. <laughs> yeah. I, I mentioned that one name already a couple times, and, and uh, you know, he just, he was working on other games. There was a bunch of guys, they went off into something called Journeyman Press, uh, started developing other games, and he would help them a little. I have a feeling he may have moved back home uh, compared to he probably didn't like it here. Uh, <laughs> the weather's not so great in the Kentucky Cincinnati area. So, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we even even today I had someone, you know, it's too early to say anything about it. But I had someone today even reach out to me and say, hey, I might have a lead. So, we're not getting our, yeah, we're not getting our hopes up. But just the fact that we have 
I, I almost refer to them as like, you know, my agents, you know, like just yeah, out there right, trying right. to solve this X file and find David May. And, and, uh, cause I mean, what an interview I, I, I'd have to, I'd have to think that um, it'd be difficult to get an interview with him because everybody else would be trying to get them. Uh, you know, and I, I, I almost, <laughs> I almost think with that, it would be fun to do like a panel interview, like get you and Dax and some of the people oh, involved, Mike Mackey and just yeah, kind of right, right. Just discuss it. Cause you guys were, you guys were directly involved at the time. That's a good idea. We were, right. we were the kids growing up playing it. So we didn't right. see a lot of what you saw, you know? And, and one, one thing that happened is when the guys, from NXT went over to USPC, you know, they were all game designers. So, uh, you know, when, once X-Files started slowing down on production and, and eventually ceased, you know, they just went ahead and jumped on other businesses that, you know, make games too. So, you know, they couldn't hold the banner or hold the flag anymore, uh, so yeah. to speak. So it kind of, that kind of stunk, but, you know, it, they, they had to pay their bills too. So, you know. Makes sense. I'm actually, you mentioned the Scooby-Doo. I'm going to look that up because, like, I'm really curious what they did to those cards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I got a few of them downstairs, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, if you have a picture. I got a, couple, I got a couple other things I could show you guys. Um, we, we live in, we, by the way, we live in Oregon, okay? Okay. Scooby Snacks takes on an entirely different meaning oh, yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure it looks cartoon different. You're like, oh, okay. Yeah, like, why is it when they jumped out of the van, all that smoke followed? Huh. <laughs> right, right. Uh, <laughs> always hungry all the time. <laughs> no, we, we'd we absolutely love to do some more interviews uh, with you, and I'm sure you've got a wealth of, of information for us. And, um, yeah, I, we really appreciate you taking the time to, to oh, talk to us. And, oh, God, yeah. show us something. Yeah, you're yeah, going to show us something cool. Please. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. Oh, no, cool. I could go ahead and e end it by showing you guys some other cool stuff. Um, yes, please, please. Dave wound up making badges for everybody. I'm trying to think. This would have been Gen Con in 97, where it says, I play X-Files for hell money. What? And instead, awesome. instead of the card number being... Uh, uh, you know, whatever the number was, they put David May's name on there and stuff. We so. joke about hell money all the time. I'm like, you got to get that hell money. <laughs> it's a great card. You know, it, it, it used to drive us crazy because, like, when there was a – when at least in the 97 when the game was still being made and, and when I went to Origins in Columbus, uh, he'd jump in on a game. So we have this tournament. You know, it's about 50 people, and uh, he just jumps in on a game. So he pulls out cards, you know, I have all my stuff in sleeves, you know, I, I'm, I'm protecting all my cards, right, just like this. So I'm like being delicate with my cards, oh my gosh. So he just pulls out his cards and he starts shuffling, no sleeves or anything. And he's got Scully's Dream in there, you know, <laughs> cards in there. And he's just like, yeah, he's going like this with them. And then he walks around the 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 the, uh, the the convention center, and he's just taking like no one's so paranoid and just whizzing them around the room, and just you know he had a, probably about a thousand in one day. He just tossed around the room, uh, which that, you know is that, is that the nerd equivalent of making it rain? I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> making it rain, no one's so paranoid. <laughs> That's brilliant. I can yeah, I respect that. I want to talk to that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, here, here's the thing everybody talks about the most. Oh, God. Do you uh, have one? I wanted to show you guys that. Um, oh, God. Uh, All right. This, this was not easy to come by. As far as I know, there's only two. The, the, the marketing department were the ones the last have it. I'm hoping one of the designers has the other one. Because uh, if, if not, then it's got to be in some dealer's hand, and they probably sold it for a lot of money. But... Uh, the box for it and that, it's, you could see it's just hand painted. Uh, I mean, they didn't really go ahead and, and have it custom made or anything like that. You could see even there's tape in here and stuff like that. So it was, so I had, I got this from one of the guys that actually still works there that gave me stuff. These are, this is his. So uh, unfortunately he's not with USPC anymore, but he won't sell it to me. So that that is the 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 pewter molder, and that the thing weighs a ton. Oh, uh, so cool! It, it it the graphics on it and that everything looked good. Just the the face is a little off, 
but it's pewter. The text on there is really readable and stuff. I'm 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 shocked. And um, I didn't even know about this, but they made a Scully one. Oh, so yeah, Scully one too. Oh. They, I heard about it from in a in something, but I didn't even know they actually made it. So I don't think there's any pictures of this one out no. there. No, yet. no one's ever seen that. No. Right. It, I I think Mike may have seen it when he you know because it's yeah. funny. I, I know Mike from when I first moved to Kentucky, he had a little sci-fi business where he was, um, he would go to um, the convention center in Louisville and he had his own little sci-fi business and stuff. So that's how I wound up running to him and stuff. But yeah, the, 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 it's just a, a sample. It even has the name of the company that made it, which it says Zombule. It's here in Cincinnati. So I guess maybe they're a, a metalsmith or something, or was, they probably don't even exist anymore. But I figured I'd end it off showing you guys that and stuff. So yeah, that's it's pretty cool. Have, yeah, I don't even know what to say. Yeah, that's, I mean, a, that's a good way to end. Do you, <laughs> hey, Kevin, do you mind um, if, if you get time? It doesn't have to be now, but if you get time and take a couple pictures, we'll edit that into the video so people can see it. Like yeah. up okay. with, yeah. With, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he'd have a problem with that. Like I said, I, I've seen some of the other stuff he's got. Um, I've seen the computer files and stuff for the Scully edition, which is kind of cool. Um, but everything that, you know, Dave May gave me some of that stuff and I put it on my website. They're inkjet prints. So, I mean, he printed it on a printer in 97 and then handed it to me. So then I had to scan them in. So the images aren't clear. But when I've seen them on a computer screen, though, uh, from this employee, ex-employee stuff, I mean, it, it's just like looking at one of the cards. It's it's pretty nice. So 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 you have so you know someone that actually has the actual files from that set. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. Wow, uh, it'd be so cool to be able to print those and, I, and, make and, them and, and play them. And you know, I've I've been some behind the scenes kind of stuff. I've been talking to some different people and some different organizations. And obviously, ten thirteen productions is a factor. You can't just you know print X files right, related related stuff. Um, but I've actually been making some headway and talking to a couple of people. So um, just knowing that the files do still exist would be an amazing thing to be able to tell them, hey, this stuff was already approved. Yeah. Right. Here's right. a following of people that want to play it. You know, and, yeah. we, want, we want to use these. We're not going to sell them. Uh, we're not going to do anything except print them for ourselves professionally, have them made if more people want them. I mean, I don't. But our thing is we don't ever sell cards. We haven't no, sold. We just we, give them away. I'd love to, right. out of my own pocket, you know, pay to have a hundred sets of these cards made, and then just give them out to people because that'd be amazing. Because they're if you you're probably familiar with them. There's some amazing cards in there. There were some amazing yes. effects yeah. that, that that never came into fruition uh, in the game that would change the whole game mechanics. Yeah. Right. Right. So, yeah, they were. Test that out. Yeah. They were toying with the idea of um, coming out with some newer X files too, um, so that would mean that the you know the 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 sheet that we're all comfortable with yeah. this eventually would have to change because uh, there would be a whole nother group of X files on there, which yeah. that's 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 cool too though. Um, that would definitely you know magic. We all know what magic was like in the early '90s. It's not the same as it is today. They made millions of cards, so mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, it, it's it's crazy, but I would love to see you guys get that far. Um, like I said, they I saw the game mechanics and stuff, and and even like this, uh, that's all I can probably show of that promo because it was for entertainment purposes for those that are watching. Yeah. Entertainment purposes. <laughs> entertainment purposes only. Uh, <laughs> you know, no, I don't I, need, yeah. don't I need it. another yeah. uh, cease and desist letter if that's all right with you um but uh you know it, it, and that's the thing it was it, it was something that i was able to do found somebody was able to print them uh just gave them out at tournaments yeah i found the game mechanics from that employee so i went with the game mechanics and made sure it fit the formulas that they came up with so you know it's it's a it's a fun card and but there was so many more fun cards coming out so 
like to see it, them it, all. It, it's it's one of those things, like, if I came up to you with this card, doesn't matter what's on the card, but all I come up to you is, have you seen this boy? You know, then... <laughs> Right, and then I got a cease and desist letter because I, I made fun of Robert Patrick from freaking Terminator yeah, Two, you know. Right, right, but, right. <laughs> but but no, we'll we'll work on that. And um, if it's if it's okay with you, I'd love to keep you know doing some interviews with you and get some more insight yeah. and and stuff. And um, we'll kind of go from there. Do you yeah. have Do you have any awesome questions for us? We're we're pretty cool. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I've I've watched your videos. I know you're cool. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, all right. I wanted to thank high you. High five. Though. Yes. <laughs> We'd love to find the way of uh, in this world being virtual now, especially COVID and stuff. Um, right. Just love to be able to play some more. Um, yeah. So yeah. if that's something that you guys are wanting to do, yep. um, you know, I, I promise I wouldn't cheat. <laughs> But I, I would just love to be able to be, play people more and, and, you know, doing something like this. You're on your screen. I'm on my screen. Uh, that should be able to something that could happen. So it'd be yeah. just great to be able to do that. Yeah. So one thing I wanted to mention is that um, the girl, Billy Reed, that we started talking to through the X-Files group and another group on Facebook, she'd actually brought up to us about trying a game just over like, you know, like a Facebook messenger or something. Right. So right. what you're saying, I mean, we're we're already kind of trying to do that. We just don't mm -hmm. have it set in stone how to do it yet. Gotcha. So gotcha. if you want to be involved, I, I can kind of, you know, let you know what we find works or doesn't work. And yeah. do you have cards that you play with in a deck, or do you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, all the time. Yeah. All right. All right. Sweet. Sweet. So. All yeah. right. Cool, man. So I do it. And uh, they, they they used to have some really crazy tournaments. Like I said, if if the us three guys were around from 95 through 97 when they had their things. I mean, they they used to, Gen Con 96, they told me that they were up all night playing a multiplayer game, which you read in the rule book, but I've never actually witnessed never done it either. That they just have, sounds, yeah. I, yeah. You, know, you know what confuses me a little bit too is like, if you want to play the game, cool, I'll, I'll sit down, I'll teach you how to play it. But for them to just show up with a bunch of decks and be like, all right, guys, come over here and play this game. I, personally, I'd be sitting there like, Dude, what is, what is going this? on? What right. is okay? Right. Do, can I do the thing now? Can I? Well, all the fights we had when we were like eighteen or seventeen or whatever. <laughs> we used to fight so much. <laughs> <laughs> going home, that does that's not how that card oh, works, yeah. you know. But, that's with cool. some, with somebody adjusting the rules. No, oh, no, no there's wording. You, 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 you're probably you're probably aware that so many of the cards are worded in such a way that yeah. interpretation is uh, a weak word to describe yes. that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can leverage certain cards. But... Uh, yeah, That's cool, man. Um, I really appreciate you talking to us. We look forward to oh. talking to you again. Yeah, um, you guys too. All right. All right. Thanks so much, man. Uh, and uh, all right. We'll see you next time on Matt and Mike's X-Files CCG. Thanks, Kevin.